Hello everybody. Welcome to my backyard, or my deck, I guess, in my backyard. You can actually see my backyard. So, I'm playing outside. You know, one, because why not? And two, because my daughter is sleeping, and apparently she can hear me in the office when she's trying to sleep. And uh, she wakes up screaming. So, we don't want to do that. So, I'm going to play outside. My position is kind of weird, but we'll make it work. So, your playing test for cello and bass is on page 41. It is number 174, hooked on D major. So before you jump into that, hopefully you have reviewed page 40, which goes over staccato bowing, which is playing short and separated. I'm trying to figure out how I want this to be. Okay, so normally we play legato, okay? Going very smooth and connected. Um, that's our normal kind of go-to, but we are going to be playing staccato which is short and separated. So instead of going, we're gonna go. So your bow actually physically stops, okay, between the notes. So like say, look at 167, where staccato is first introduced. It's the pepperoni pizza rhythm, going. Pizza for pepperoni pizza. That's the staccato. We have talked about that a little bit, um, specifically I think in rhythm and blues or potentially some solo and ensemble stuff. But we haven't actually like jumped into it in the book because it's not introduced until page forty. So <clears throat> practice that first. Make sure you feel comfortable getting the style of the staccato. Then look at page forty-one. And 174 is where we add an additional thing into the staccato. So we're doing staccato still, but we're doing it within a tie or a slur. So you're going to do two staccato bows, but in the same bow direction. So you're going to go like... So down, down, up, up. Okay. So I'm going to play number 174. It's two lines long, so make sure you pay attention to that. Make sure you also notice that the second line is different rhythmically than the first line. Okay, so here we go. 174. One, two, ready, go. last measure is different rhythmically than the rest of them. So I'm going to try that again. This is around the tempo that I would like it to be. There's no given tempo, but if you go too slow, then you know, it might throw you off a little bit. It might be more awkward. So I would try to go about this tempo. It's not that fast. If you want to go faster, you can. Just make sure you're staying very even with your rhythm and that the hook bowing is obvious. If you don't get the separation, it's just going to sound like half notes. And obviously if they wanted half notes, I'm going to put half notes. So we got to make sure we hear two notes in each bow when you have the hook line. Okay, so let's try it again. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> get comfortable with hook bowing. Hook bowing is uh, you know, another thing like when we started using the bow and we started um, doing bow lifts and th things like that. I said like from here on out it's fair game. Like you can have this and now it's the same deal. Hook bowing like you can have hook bowing whenever at this point. Okay so you want to get comfortable with it and make sure it's obvious. Okay otherwise it sounds like something else. So practice Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions, you don't understand something, or you're not sure if you're doing it quite right. Feel free to watch this video as many times as you need. Play with me to see if you're matching me. Um, you know, just do the best you can. Okay? Practice. Make some pretty music. <laughs> 